Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo um, with you on the uh, next step for the class 2 premolar preparation design. I went ahead and marked the gingival aspect. Lots of room there. Lots of room. So um, I'm going to go ahead and and go ahead and make my depth cuts. So I'll start here. I just go in straight. And you can do this with the 699s, that would be okay. I'm going to go right to my 556. And we can probably take that down to right about here. There's one. So our depth needs to be equivalent to that of the occlusal. So I think we can go a little bit further. Oh. There we go. Let's put the next one right there. It's a lot easier to do it this way. You can push straight down through the occlusal, which is okay. So through the what we call now the pulpal floor, which is going to turn into the gingival floor. So give you a three-dimensional look at the box preparation. That's almost the right depth. That's a little bit more. That's about it right there. And maybe we can drop one more. Notice how quickly it cuts vertically. All right. Hopefully, I'm maintaining the S. There we go. And I'm also looking at this floor and this floor here, and I want to keep those two parallel with each other as well. So it's all this 3D stuff going on, and you know, you're like, well, a one step at a time, perfect one step. Don't get too caught up in the, the whole picture. See, I'm going off the road a little bit here, but so maybe I can come down and go up and down a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm. Love to go off the road there. All right, let me just clean this up a little bit. I want to get this corner perfected. So maybe the idea, you know what? I don't need to go for. Maybe let's try two. So I'll take it down one notch. Let's see if that helps with my preparation. You know what? That helped. So a uh, little off the road there. It's normal though. Normally get a little bit of scratches here and there, but keep practicing. Alright, that's about as close as where I want to be. Um, some things I want to point out in the preparation is, uh, you know, internally I like to see it all nice and smooth and polished. Um, I like it to flow, you know, kind of like an S internally as well um, and that's about it in class what you'll have to do is in class you'll have to put it on the typodont and make sure that um, you have a lot of clearance in between you to place your your matrix band so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna take the typodont and just take a look and see where we are in that regard so here's my tooth and as I'm looking straight down I'm noticing you know what I didn't break contact at that point that's the point of where the S contour is so I'm gonna take my handpiece and just do a little reduction facing the distal just to open up that contact a little bit 
too tight, no good. You can't clean it. Not enough, no good. In the mouth, you may have to um, prep it a little bit more toward the buckle. In other words, you would bring the S out more toward the buckle. Now, if you're using tooth color restoration, it won't show. And on the distal, many things don't really show in a smile. So I just decided to bring it out a little bit more and develop my S. Let's see if that's all it took. The other thing you can do is just lightly touch it this way. That should be more than enough to break the contact. We'll take another look. Turn my motor off. Bring back my type of dot. My tooth in place. And yes, we did break contact, so I'm happy with that. Um, you know, the next step is to actually place the filling, which we'll do in class. So, class two maxillary first left side, right? Upper left side premolar. Um, keep practicing. With Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We'll see you in class. Take care.